one. Hi, it's uh, <clears throat> NCA, National Citizens Alliance, again here, standing in front of a smart meter. And uh, you can see that we are getting a peak rating, microwatts per square meter, 81,900. Wow, that's unreal. So, so high, that's amazing. Um, and if we can just maybe move this here just to show them what the smart meter looks like. There we go. Yeah, just if like. Yes, right. Okay. So, not sure if you can read on the uh, on the smart meter, but anyway, here we can see it that the, it reached a peak of yeah, eighty-one thousand nine hundred. Still a peak. That's ridiculously high. And uh, th what I've been hearing about these smart meters is that um, yes yeah, so I've been uh, reading and uh, hearing about that these smart meters uh, can actually be used to uh, to connect to other wireless devices in your homes baby monitors um, uh, wireless um, uh, wireless uh, 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 household ex accessories um, so these these smart meters can be used uh, for actually basically surveillance uh, they can use them to uh, they can be used uh, to tap into the, uh, the 5g network uh, for the 5g network to tap into your home to actually monitor where you are in your home what you're do what you're doing uh, because those smart meters going to ha going to have access to your other wire wireless devices this is why these smart meters are not a, a, a good idea at all. They are not. Um, they are not safe. And uh, this is proof. They're you know giving off extremely high uh, ratings, uh, extremely extremely high readings on the, uh, the radiation. Now we may be getting uh, some interference uh, that could be adding uh, to the to the readings. Uh, over here we uh, we have a. Pretty big monster tower. Um, and let's see what we're getting for readings if we point the, uh, and maybe if we can do a, okay. If we got closer to it, and uh, let's see, we just reset the meter, and we're gonna point the, uh, the, point, uh, the, the uh, point the meter uh, towards this massive tower. And let's see what we're gonna get here. For readings. Just gonna zoom in a little bit here to get a better look at that crazy looking tower. And what do we get for readings? Oh my gosh, yeah, 38, 38, 38,900. So, in fact, we were actually getting, uh, I guess, about an equal reading. Um, how does that work now? The two of them together? So what happens is if you have a wireless device and you have antennas or transmitters on those devices, they talk to each other. They connect to each other because your device is always looking for a signal and the cell phone towers are always looking for a signal. Right. Because right. your cell phone is always looking for a signal. So, so basically, that joins whatever's in the, in the neighborhood. They all come together. Okay, so basically, like one is saying to the other, "Where are you? Here yeah. I am. Yeah. Where are you? Here I am." Where uh, are you? Here I am. Constantly. Hundreds of times, maybe per minute. Right. Okay. Well, or you multiple know, times yeah. per second. Per second, rather. Okay. Okay. And uh, so, so, if I, if the tower is given off an, uh, a reading of microwatts per square meter, let's say forty thousand, yeah. and the uh, and the smart meter is giving off the same amount, forty thousand. Well, it was would, higher actually because it it went up to sixty seven thousand. Oh, I see. Okay. By itself. Oh, okay. And then with the two of them. By moving this around, you yes, pick yes. up the whole area. Then oh, it jumped up. Oh, I that, see. What was that eighty or ninety? Uh, I think it was eighty-nine thousand. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So, the more wireless devices you have, yes, in any area, the higher the radiation. Oh my gosh! Because they're all come. They're all searching for your phone. Right. So, so if you if you walk up to um, with a, your regular cell phone on, if you walk up to a smart meter, it jumps. Okay. Automatically yeah. jumps, it, and it can go up as high as yeah. um, 
three hundred thousand. I uh, yeah. this one woman had an iPhone and she was working in a knee in um, Sobey's gas bar, and there was a small cell tower outside that we had done before on right. Stokel. And while I was in there, I asked her to take or to turn on her phone, and it jumped. It jumped up to to uh, three hundred thousand. Oh wow! So wow. that so and basically, that's in her hand. she's got yeah. that in her hand. So that those signals are coming from that cell phone outside through the building, yeah. into onto her phone yeah. connecting. Yeah. Because your cell phone, the phones can't work without a tower. Yeah. So, so in in somebody's house, uh, the average the average homeowner probably has three or four wireless devices. You know, you could you could yes. count their router, yes. their cell phone, yeah. uh, maybe their smart TV, yeah. uh, wireless printer, let's say, you know, uh, that's four devices right there. And then All those devices, whatever house. whatever radiation, yeah. whatever reading that they're gonna give, that they each are given off, it's all, it's all together, it's all and cumulative. The more you have, the higher it is. Wow, wow. Yeah. Now, my, my um, husband is using a mouse, and we had turned off all the Wi-Fi, and I went, went in with this, and it was jumping all over the place. And I said, "What is going on?" We just turned everything off, and he had. A it was wireless the wireless mouse. mouse. Okay, wireless mouse. And that was one device. Yeah, just and one. And it was like way, way off yeah. the charts. It, yeah. it ju jumped up to like 167 because yeah. it has a transmitter in it to yeah. communicate. And just think, this is most of most of and these towers now are only at 4G. Imagine what is going to be like when they when it gets up to 5G, and from what I understand, which is going to be something like on the order of 20, 30, maybe 40 times higher than 4G. 5G is going to be like ridiculously high. Well, uh, we'll you know. just take measurements before, and then yeah. we we'll take them after and yes. see if it, it increases it, or you know, yeah, or if it in increases the distance. Right. But what I'm thinking is. It's going to increase the distance where this rate high levels will go. Whereas now it's, you know, you get far enough away from it and it drops. But 5G will make that go further. Okay. You know, okay. so yeah. I mean, where yeah. you didn't have a, a connection before between the ground 5G and the satellite yeah. 5G, yeah. you walk out with any um, wireless device on your body and it's all coming to you. Yeah. So, and you know, anybody in between you and your device is going to get zapped yeah, too. Yeah. So, yeah. It'll be like, I don't know, as soon as you see somebody walking down the street with a cell phone, you might want to cross the street. Exactly. And don't get in, you know, the, between them and the cell yeah, phone tower yeah. or an what, antenna. What really worries me too is that uh, how. Uh, what really, what to me, what is what very, what is very concerning, is how they're going to be, they're going to be able to use all of these uh, Wi-Fi um, uh, units, the, this 4G, 5G, to connect to your your home Wi-Fi system and be able to survey, uh, do surveillance on you without you even knowing about it. Well, if you have a computer chip and, an, and a transmitter on any device, yes, yeah. they can connect. Yeah. Because yeah. they're looking for a signal too. Yeah, that's so right. So I think that um, that's where the smart meter comes into effect yeah. for a lot of things. But then they don't need it once 5G is, is out there in the satellites because they'll yeah. have access. If you've got an antenna, yeah. if you've got a transmitter on anything, yeah. they can access it. Yes, yes. So. Now you, you were... Uh, uh, you were part of the, the group, uh, the local group, Halifax group, that's in uh, uh, documenting the, the dangers of smart meters? Well, we're uh, what's the name? basically, uh, I'm a volunteer. Or volunteer, I'm okay. I'm not an administrator, okay. and I don't speak for them, but, okay. they, but I can say that they are educating people about the dangers of wireless um, devices, wireless uh, radiation, smart meters, and helping them want to opt out to get out okay and but now we are finding that the these uh, like the water and the power company they have their own meters and they are lobbying the utility boards to get to uh fine well i call it a fine extortion you yeah can call it whatever you want yeah i don't want to use their technology then they're going to make me pay for it anyway oh, okay because okay. they say they you know yeah what they want to do is get rid of their labor yeah and we're between them and getting rid of their labor. Oh, okay, okay. But you know, I mean, that could be solved easily 
by us sending in our readings. Yes, yes. But they, they don't want to do that because then a lot more people would opt out if right. there was no um, penalties. Because what they're doing is penalizing and coercing us into staying in the system, whether we want to or not. Yeah. And a lot of people will stay in because they can't afford to pay the, the yeah. extra bill yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. In fact, the water company wrote me a letter and said, if we charge you a fee, will that change your mind? on whether or not you want uh -huh. this meter on uh -huh. your house. Well, my uh -huh. God, I had, yeah. it took me three days to get over that uh, yeah, before I yeah. wrote a letter to the utility board saying, you know, don't give them that power. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, they seem to be just rubber stamping yeah. everything and giving them what they want, when they want, yeah. and the yeah. hell with the consumer. Yeah, yeah. So and, uh, a lot of us are wondering what good that utility board is. Yeah, exactly. Because we don't see them standing up for us. No, They're gotcha. just rolling over and giving them whatever they want, and they won't even discuss the health issues yeah. Yeah. of wireless technology. And yeah. I tell you, we sent them the information. Yeah. I mean, they had... They had um, meetings about it people came and showed their concern gave them science and they said no no we don't want to talk about that they just that's not our mandate to they talk just wanted about. to sweep it under the carpet type well of thing. the thing yeah. is their mandate is to to uh see what the viability of this program yes. is and whether it has a chance yes to survive and if they're going to take the science aspect of it and remove it yes because it interferes with their agenda okay um like what? What do we? What? What can we do about it? Yeah, yeah. That's I right. mean, not everybody can afford to take them to court and yeah. sue them. But yeah. if the utility board is giving them the okay, and if the uh, government of Nova Scotia yeah. is giving them the okay, and our health minister is sitting on his butt, and he doesn't want to hear about health in uh, mm. issues mm. with uh, radiation and mm -hmm. wireless technology, and yeah. you know, yeah. and they all keep standing behind this um, um, safety code six that Health Canada has, and that only pertains to thermal radiation. It yeah. has nothing to do with non-thermal radiation. Yes, yeah. In fact, in my humble opinion, I feel that Health Canada is uh, negligent mm. in their duties because they are not dealing with an mm. imminent threat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, uh, the safety code six, from what I understand, is uh, I haven't had a chance to read it yet, uh, to look uh, thoroughly through through it, but uh, is that they set the bar so high as far as the oh, maximum you'll allowed? You'll never yeah. you'll never reach that. No. So that exempts uh, that exempts the the tele uh, telecommunications and the government. Yes. they're both working together. Exempts them both from any liability yeah. and and responsibility. So it's it's rigged. The system is rigged. So I guess what we what our what we have to do is educate people. Uh, make people aware of what's going on, get the data, do our research, right? Research, research, and uh, yeah. get get the, the the true facts. Educate people, and and you know get the people you working together to try and uh, to try and get this um, the re reverse. Well, what I'm hoping is that your party, the National Citizens Alliance. Um, which is a national party, that you get enough people to run in every riding and take yeah. this power away from them yes, because yeah, exactly. they are not yeah. doing their jobs. Yeah. Nobody is doing their job. Yeah. They're all listening to lobbyists yeah. over the health and safety. Yeah. And, you know, my, my hope is that you get enough votes, you get enough people running for you, you educate yeah. as many people yeah. as you can. and Yeah, that's the first step. Yeah. Put them out of the power. Yeah. Yep. They need to go yep. because they are not doing their jobs. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's uh, yeah. Well, definitely, no doubt about it. NCA, if we uh, if we were in power, you know, if we got into power, definitely, uh, we're actually we're the only party, as you're probably well aware, we're the only party that's speaking out against this. This well, I've 5G, to yeah. multiple levels, all levels of government about yeah. this issue, and they don't want to hear about it. Yeah. They don't want to deal with it. They won't give us the time of day. Yeah. We've sent them science. We've, you know, the new studies that were released that show, uh, uh, you know, um, brain damage or brain um, the blood tumors, brain, yes, brain yeah. tumors, like yes. you know, clear evidence of brain tumors. What more do they yeah. need? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What can we do to get them to do their jobs? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's uh, you know it's just one of those things where they uh, all they care about is the uh, the almighty dollar, the the power, the 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 money. There's billions of dollars at stake in this uh, 5G industry, and that's what they're that's what they want. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for uh, for 
uh, giving me that great insight. Thank you. And uh, stay tuned there, folks. Uh, leave your comments, your thoughts, please. Uh, we're going to be doing one more live video. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting one. Uh, stay tuned, okay? So hopefully sometime very shortly. Thank you.